Hey there folks, Josh here with Shua Photography. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Godox EM68G Condenser Cardioid Microphone. This is a USB microphone that has an individual gain knob and an ideal pickup pattern for situations like this. I do need to start off by saying that Godox did send this to me along with some other lighting gear that I have already reviewed. I did not have to pay for this and I don't have to return it, but Godox is not sponsoring this video or paying me to say anything about it. These are my honest opinions and experiences with this microphone. I also want to say that I'm not an audio expert, I'm just a new YouTuber that's looking to produce higher quality content for my viewers. We're going to be putting this microphone up against the only microphone that I have experience with and that's the Toner TC777 USB microphone. Now with all that out of the way, let's get into the review. I will put chapter markers in here so you guys can skip around if needed. So like I said earlier, in this video we're going to be comparing the microphone, this microphone, to the only other microphone that I've been using in my videos previously, and that's the Toner TC777. It's a very budget friendly microphone, it's only $35 on Amazon, and it served me well, but one of the issues is that the gain on it is very very low, and there's no way to change that on the microphone, it has to be done in post, as opposed to the EM68G, which has this control knob on the top. The EM68G can be pre-ordered currently at Adorama for $129. And like I said before, I'm not an audio expert, but in my research that I've been doing, $129 for a condenser microphone seems to be like a pretty good deal. I'm hoping that this review will give you guys some insight as to whether you want to go for a cheap microphone like the one I got or one like this from Godox. Hopefully it'll be worth it for you. So now let's go and get into the overhead shot so we can start doing some audio comparisons between these. All right, so this is the EM68G. No processing or anything. We are gonna do some processing of the audio for both the EM68G as well as the toner microphone. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is test all of this out. So right now we have the EM68G about, I don't know, about 10 or so inches away from my face. And we are going to stay in the same vicinity when we are talking into both this microphone and the toner microphone. Currently, I have the toner microphone set to mute and we will go ahead and do a little bit of um, testing of both of these as we move along. So this is the toner EM68G. This is set to my optimal setting. This is what I like having the microphone set to. As you'll notice up here, there is the gain knob right here. I'll go ahead and turn this down so you can see that I'm not moving away from the microphone, but now we are all the way at the bare minimum that this microphone can produce. And then we're going to bring it all the way up. You'll notice right up here, we have our meters to see where we're at. So this is with the EM68G all the way at its highest point. I'm not moving, I'm within the same distance away from it, but you'll notice that it's a lot louder. So we're going to go back down to my optimal range. I like to be right around here. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So on the EM68G, you'll notice that there are these hash marks. These hash marks are the volume, or excuse me, gain control for this microphone. And you'll notice there's a little white line right there. And that is what I'm basing all of this off of, is right here. I like it to be right around the second hash mark on the front here. This is the optimal setting that I have for me. Obviously for any of you, you're going to have an optimal setting for the way that you like it. You can have it further away and turn the gain way up. You can have it closer and turn the gain way down. The toner microphone right here, this microphone has no gain control whatsoever on the microphone. You have to do everything in post-processing. 
and that can lead to issues. When you're bumping the gain up too much on a microphone, you can get artifacts and it just doesn't sound proper. So what we wanna go ahead and do is find that optimal gain on this microphone. Now let's go ahead and test both of these microphones side by side. You'll be able to notice up here, as you're watching the meters right here, you'll see the toner and where its volume is at compared to the Godox microphone. So I'm gonna turn the Godox microphone all the way down and you'll be able to see that those meters are relatively close. So you'll see that the toner microphone and the Godox microphone right up here, you'll notice that the volumes are roughly the same. You'll see a little bit of difference, but in theory, they're about the same. And this is how the toner microphone has its only setting. So for each of these tests, I'm gonna be reading a passage from one of my daughter's books. So this is the EM68G at its lowest setting. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up, new leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. This is the toner microphone at its only setting. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. As you can see, this is the toner microphone that I am talking into now. It's now closer, so there's a little bit more volume. We can bring it even closer and get even louder. Now, in order to get to where the Godox microphone is at optimal setting, we need to be about this close to the microphone. This close. So it needs to be in my face in order to get where the Godox is at almost optimal. So if you look at the audio waves up at the top right there, you'll notice that the two microphones are pretty darn close. And this is not as loud as the Godox can get. This, but this is as loud as you can get on this toner microphone. So one of the big reasons why moving to the Godox microphone is an awesome thing for me. So this is the toner TC777 microphone as close to my mouth as possible without touching, uh, talking at the same level that I have been the whole time. Again, this is the toner TC777. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch back over to the EM68G and go to the optimal setting and read the same uh, passage from the book. This is at the optimal gain for my setup. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. This is the EM68G at its highest gain setting. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. So now that we have all of those little bits, we're going to play them side by side so you can hear them and see what you guys think might be beneficial for your setup. These are all unprocessed. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to process some of the audio to kind of optimize it, make it sound the way I want to, and then we'll play those side by side as well. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. 
new leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up, new leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up, new leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. So those are my tests of the EM68G microphone from Godox and the Toner TC777. Although, like I said before, I'm not an audio expert. I do minimal editing, but I did get the audio and adjustments as close as I could to the sound of the Godox. I can still hear a difference that the Godox microphone just definitely has a fuller sound. It makes my voice sound great straight out of the box. I don't have to really do any adjustments at all on this microphone. What did you guys think about the sound difference between these two microphones? What do you think of the audio quality of this EM68G microphone? Is this something you're looking at getting? Leave me a comment down below. I can tell you right now that if I hadn't gotten this microphone from Godox, I probably would have pre-ordered it. Even though it's almost four times the price of the toner microphone, it's by far four times higher quality than this one, in my opinion. So to finish off this video, I did want to kind of touch base on some of the features that this microphone has that I haven't covered that really don't have anything to do with the audio coming out of it. But the LED strip here on the top is fully customizable to suit your needs if you're into RGB stuff. It also has one tap mute on the top. So if you're a streamer and you have to cough or sneeze, you can easily hit the one touch mute so that it's not jarring to your audience. My one gripe about this microphone is the stand. There's two issues with it. One is that there's no height adjustment on it in any way and it, you can't really attach it to a boom arm or anything. I actually have to put something underneath the microphone to get it at the elevation that I want it to be at. So I just wish that there was some sort of height adjustment on here that would be super awesome. One of the other minor things about this little stand is that the screws on it for the articulation of the microphone uh, seem to come loose pretty easily and I've had to tighten up those screws a couple of times. It's not a huge deal but it would just be nice to have you know a little bit different stand on here that like I said had some sort of height adjustment and if these uh, screws would just be a little more tight. So that's it, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, if you like this video or you know anybody that might be interested in it, share this video with them, leave a like on the video, comment, and if you wanna see more content from me, please give the channel a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. It's Josh with Shoe of Photography.